Hello everyone, today we're working on a Case IH Quad Track 450 and what we're doing is putting a bypass filtration system on the engine. Bypass filtration will catch the dirt down to 2 microns, 98% efficient at 2 microns. This catches the fine dirt, the full flow filter can't. First thing we're going to do is before we drop the old oil, we're going to take an oil sample. And once we do that, we'll drop the oil, we'll change the full flow filter, and I've made a mount for this bypass filter. And we're going to go ahead and show you where to mount that, where to pull oil from to feed it from the engine, and where to return the oil back to the crankcase. So we've got a, uh, a Facebook page as well that explains the bypass filtration and the reason for it. Uh, the bypass filtration will reduce the wear by three to four hundred percent over a regular filter. So it helps extend the life of that engine significantly. So we're going to get started with this. Uh, I'll show you where to pull that sample from, and uh, we'll get started. Okay, we're ready to take an oil sample. There's a plug right here on the back of the block, and it's right here by the flywheel housing. It's a 3 8 pipe thread plug, and that's an oil gallery right there. And I took that out, I put in a bushing, and uh, this is just temporary to take a sample before I put the bypass system on. This is going to be the source of my pressurized oil to feed the bypass filter. And then the return oil, if you come up here to the front of the engine, right down in here is a plug. And that's where we're going to return the oil back to the crankcase. That's a direct shot right back into that oil pan. So that gives you some idea where to pull oil and where the oil is going to go back to after it's been filtered through that bypass filter. So we go to take our sample, we're going to get the flow going. We've got the engine already pre-warmed up, it's good and hot. And uh, we're going to take a sample here, get, get the flow going, take a dummy sample. Then we're going to take the real sample. The thing with oil sampling is you want to be consistent with every sample. We're going to have uh, this line going down to the bypass filter, and at that point on the filter we'll have a valve for taking the sample. So you want to make sure you take the same. We're taking about four to six ounces of oil, and that'll be sent into a lab, and that's your, your checkup to see how the oil is performing, and also if the oil is suitable for continued use. With this bypass filtration, we should be able to run anywhere from a thousand to two thousand hour drain intervals using oil analysis and doing regular filter changes. So we're going to get started with this bypass and we'll be back with you. Okay, we got the oil changed. The oil we're putting in is the AMS oil, uh, diesel oil. It's a CJ4, it's an SAE 15W40. Got about six times the wear protection of most other oils and uh, helps prevent wear significantly. Uh, we're going to uh, use that in the engine. We'll do the uh, oil samples roughly every uh, probably 250 to 300 hours and uh, we'll change filters regularly and let the oil analysis be our guide as far as when to change the oil. So we'll go ahead and show you the bypass install and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, we ended up uh, taking the oil from a different spot on the engine because the one on the back on the other side was too close. And what we did is we came in right up here by the alternator and there's a spot right up in there that uh, there's a plug, 3 8 pipe plug. And that's where we're drawing our pressurized oil. It's an oil gallery. And then from there, we took that hose down and uh, we fastened it to uh, the side frame rail. There's a, a stud right there, you can kind of see it down in the picture. And uh, from there, we go over to the bypass system, which uh, we've mounted right there underneath the oil pan. We'll give you a different shot of that here in a minute. We'll go underneath. Okay, this is a shot of the bypass system, and what I did is I, I used these two mounts that were already existing on that front differential, and I used a piece of half-inch plate steel and a half inch plate steel goes up to about an inch below the uh, oil pan right here up on top. It's kind of hard to see, but it's about an inch between there. So we've got plenty of room and that's good and solid. We've got a sample valve right here with a cap on it. That's the oil coming from the engine. And uh, that line basically comes down 
and uh, goes right on up to where that uh, where that alternator is. And you can see there we attached it. We attached it to a uh, set of hoses here, set of tubes, hydraulic tubes, probably for the oil cooler. And uh, up above we got that uh, stud. A little hard to see, right? Yeah, but right there you can see it. We put a clamp on there. And then over on the other side, the discharge oil comes out right here. And it works its way up by the engine oil filter. And I'm going to take a shot. I'll go up above and give you a shot of that. Okay, here's a shot of the other side of the engine. Here's your full flow oil filter. And right down here is our hose. It comes off that bypass. So that's the oil returning back to the crankcase. And like I say, we use the uh, that spot right there. It goes right back into the, to the block. So the oil's getting dumped right back into the uh, engine crankcase right there. That worked real well. You can kind of see, see if I can get in there a little better shot on it. You can kind of see what I did there. I drilled and tapped it for uh, 3 8 pipe thread and put the adapter in right there. So I used the original hex that was right there in block and just drilled it and tapped it. So that's, uh, that's how I did that. That concludes the installation of this AMSOIL bypass filtration system. I want to thank you for watching my video and have a great day. Thank you for watching my video. Be sure to check out my other videos and subscribe to my channel at youtube.com forward slash C forward slash Donsoil. I'd like to introduce you to AMSOIL synthetic lubricants. We have the most complete line of synthetic lubricants on the market that offer you greatly reduced wear, extended drain intervals, longer equipment life. You can check that out at my website donsoil.com. I also have a website for looking up fluid capacities. It's fluidcapacity.com. You can go there and print off the capacity of your engine oil cooling system, transmission, transfer case differentials. Be sure to like us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Don Synthetic Lubes. Thank you and have a great day.